hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video depending on how long it takes me uh, am i going to have to split it in two because we are going to be configuring this windows server we are going to add the dhcp so in this dhcp uh, basically we're just going to you know add a role um, and this role is going to be the uh, the dhcp server right that's what we're going to um, to be doing so let's go ahead and start uh, I don't want to take too long uh, let's go ahead and just start and here what we want to do if we have this window DHCP server what you want to do is you want to go to manage add a role or feature we are going to do next in here we are going to select the role based or feature based installation let's go next um, in here it's going to select it put a we're going to ask you to select a the, the server pool um, I actually want to change this name but let's leave it there for now let's go ahead and go next and here's where you want to select the DHCP server and let's go ahead and add the feature uh, the validation found problems so once blah, 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 continue uh, so did I what happened so add feature so no static IP address were found on this computer. Let's go ahead and add that first. Um, since we have it, let's go ahead and go to Ethernet over here. I knew that was going to be an issue. So 10, 10, 30, 102. Yep. 205, 205, 250. 10, 10, 30, 254. And DNS, as of right now, it is 10, 10, 30, 254. Let's go ahead and leave it there. Press OK. OK. So now we have a static IP address. Go ahead and continue. There we go. Go next. So now it is going to let me do that. So <laughs> that is great. So select the feature window over here. We won't need to select anything. So let's go ahead and do, it's going to ask for the DNS, just do next, DHCP, do next, confirmation, go ahead and install it. So this right here is going to, um, is going to install it. Uh, it might take, uh, it's, I don't know how long it takes, to be honest with you. I guess it depends on how much um, CPU and RAM you also have on this, on this server. Right now, I don't think I have much. Uh, I think I gave it like four. So you can see the CPU is already pounding the CPU. So you, we might have to, after the reboot, we might have to add more. But if it takes too long, um, I might have to post it. So I have eight gig of RAM. You can see the RAM is barely touched right now. It is the CPU uh, because I believe I only gave it like one, <laughs> one vCPU. I, sh I think I should give it like four. Um, but oh, what else we can do that later you can see that it is installing so after it is done installing I'm going to change the name and I'm also going to add it on the on the firewall for the DNS so let's go ahead and go to the firewall first um, you remember on the previous video we set this firewall to be the DNS server um, for our system so let's go ahead and go to uh, we want to go to interfaces or network right not interfaces network section we want to go to DNS server and we want to edit this bad boy in here and we want to add a new one so what are we going to call this we are going to call it uh, let's just call it the name win server that lab that local dot com or the, the lab that local that should be good this one's going to be 10 10 30 that 102 all right it's going to be status going to be enabled so that is great cool beans let's go ahead and add that over here and let's see what we at it is it looks like configuration required installation succeeded on this machine we can go ahead and close that out so that is great looks like DHCP was configured do we need to reboot server Let's go ahead and complete it. Commit. Close. All right. Anything else in here? Any other flags? I think we might need to reboot just for 
the sake of it uh, before we do that let's go ahead and just change the name see if it lets me change the name of it um, there's no PC how do we do that then you use uh, right click go to properties and in here you want to change name settings let's go ahead and do, 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 do. for now we're just going to call it win server server win server uh, domain no domains for now we might do something for that later on so there we go so we will need to restart this guy let's go ahead and restart now also if you want to see if the DNS is still working uh, we can go to this machine over here that Windows Server machine um, if we do an IP config all uh, we are going to see that we have um, DNS is 10, 10, So if we do like a ping win server that lab that local, you can see that we do get that. We are able to resolve that IP address. So that is great. That means that the DNS is still working, still doing good. So because remember we added that to our we added that server or that DNS that domain name to the firewall just wanted to see if it was working looks like right, this guy is up now this is the server where we configure DHCP so now before we actually let's go ahead and log in so you can start no that's not the password this one is a password let's go ahead and go to the firewall HQ this one in the middle and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make sure that I turn off DHCP and I actually do DHCP relay so therefore I am going to go to port 3 which is the one that has DHCP enabled and over here I'm going to have a DHCP server I want it off right and this is DHCP so wait, you want to we want to DHCP default gateway okay and did I forget how to let me think here for a second so the way that you configure the relay um, is uh, so you want to go yeah so you want to go here why is it a okay so we have DHCP on we have transmission let's go ahead and also let's turn this on because we're gonna need that we need we're gonna need LLDP and it is escaping me for some reason it should be DHCP in here we let's go ahead and turn it off press OK Oh man, okay, so so now I remember. So we go to port three. Again, it's just because the screen is too small for me. So let's go to DHCP. So right, you wanna you wanna turn this on, you wanna have it on, but you want to have uh let's see you go to advance and the mode, you gotta set the mode to relay right here. And when you set the mode to relay, mm -hmm. and here you wanna add 10, 10, 30, 30.102. Okay, so that's how going to be the relay. So the relay is basically, we are saying that yes, we have DHCP, but we need to go get it at this Windows Server right here. This is the one that's running DHCP. That's what relay does, right? So the relay is on now. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and configure um, a scope on that server. So therefore, we're going to need to go to the server. I believe it's this one. Yep. If you go here. Uh, we should be able to just open it over here go to DHCP manager so right click on it go to DHCP manager from here just make that a little bit bigger you want to expand this guy over here and you want to go to you want to go to IPv4 you want to right click on it uh, and you want to add a new scope so 
over here if we want to give it a name we can say net for network 30 right we're going to go next in here the starting ip i want to start 10 10 30 that 50 to 10 10 30 that uh, 60 that should be good subnet mask is going to be 255 255.0 so it's going to be a slash uh, 24 there we go so that's great so 10 10 30 50 to 10 10 30 60 that should be enough um, exclusion we're not going to add any exclusions in here go next um, how many days the lease is going to uh, it's going to be good for eight days let's go ahead and leave it with the default um, do you want to configure the HP options for this scope right now? Let's go ahead and say sure. But to add an API routers, okay, so let's go ahead and add a router. So 10, 10, 30, that 254, that's going to be the router. You want to go ahead and add. If you want to add multiple ones, you can also go ahead and do that. Um, the name server, so we have 10, 10, 30, 254. That is good. That's the one that we are going to keep in here. No more scope or anything. Uh, let's go ahead and go next. Server name. So win server name. We're not for NetBIOS. No, we're not going to do that. Yes. Do you want to activate the scope right now? Of course, yes, because we want to use it. Go ahead and finish it. Looking good. Here's my scope in here. So if we double click on this, you can see the leases. Oh, you can see. I mean, you can see the. Right, you can see the pool over here where it's from 50 to 60. You can see the leases in here. There's nothing right now, not at the moment. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to 30. I believe this is 30, right? 101. And we are going to disconnect and connect to it again and see, let's see what happens. See if we get uh, anything in the lease. Boom, so we got one with that 50. So over here, this guy should have now a uh, 10, 10, 30, 50. IF config. You can see here 10, 10, 30, 50, which is great, which is what I was looking for, right? So that is working. Um, if we want to test another one, we can go ahead and disconnect and connect to it again. And this one should get that 51. And here we go, 30, 51. And here is the broadcast address, all that good stuff. If you do a ping uh, server, what, what did I name this? Win server dot lab local dot com. There we go. I'm able to what? Ah, wait. Uh, this is going somewhere else. Let's go ahead and go right here. Why am I doing local dot com? I gotta go to that. WinServer.lab.local. There we go. Uh, I'm unable to ping, but we can see that DNS is working because he was able to resolve the name, right? So that is great. Uh, you can see WinServer and you can see the IP address. So it is resolving it, um, which is great. So if we go back to the server, we refresh, we should see two leases in here now 50 and that 51. I mean, you can, you know, expand and do whatever, but uh, you can see that the relay is working. So that is that is really cool. We have configured the DHCP server, and then we configure the scope of, for the DHCP server and the relay. It's working right now at the moment. So this is it for this video, guys. Uh, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It I think it was going to be longer than this, but I'm glad I kept it short. And like I said, this is it for this video, guys. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.